We are heading from Lake Bled to Postoina. This is a short drive, and Slovenia is a relatively small country. Postoina has one of the top attractions, a cave. And the city itself is extremely small. Most of the people visit just for the day, since it's only 50 kilometers from the capital, Ljubljana. We're in a small Slovenian town and we ventured out out of our hotel because we didn't want to eat the hotel. We thought it would be nice to be able to have authentic Slovenian food. And we went all over this town and there's not any restaurants that are serving food. They're all just drinking. They're just bars, no food. We did find a place and it's Chinese food. So we're having Chinese food in Slovenia. I was hoping for an authentic Slovenian dinner, but we're having looks like pretty good Chinese food. Slovenian style. Looks really Slovenia, good. At least you have Slovenian beer. Yeah, and Slo Slo with Slovenian beer. <laughs> <laughs> we are staying at Hotel Jama, which is located right next door to the cave. And to avoid the line at the entrance, we purchased our tickets right here at the front desk. This is the first underground cave train and it was opened in 1872. And the cave railroad has been operating at the cave for over 140 years. Postoyana Cave is one of the most visited show caves in the world. We are on an adventure of an underground paradise of stalagmites and stalactites that took millions of years to form. I didn't expect to see these formations immediately upon entering the cave. The ride is quite exhilarating and it's so fascinating to see the natural beauty of this underground world. 3.7 kilometers is on the train and then 1.3 kilometers we're walking with the guide. The cave is 25 kilometers long so we're seeing just a fraction of it. It's been open for already 203 years and since then we have had over 40 million of visitors. So a lot of people have already seen this cave and you also have opportunity to be part of this underground journey. The cave system is multi-level and carved by the river. The youngest passage is below us and we are in the middle passage. The Russian bridge was made during World War I by Russian prisoners. The formations are made by water dripping through the ground and slowly dripping through the ceiling of the cave. The limestone is in the drops that form the stalactites and the stalagmites and the solid columns. It takes 100 years to form one centimeter or less than a half an inch to form. Imagine how many drops it took to make such a beautiful cave. In the cave, we see different colors. 
which are made by different impurities carried by the rainwater. Clay with iron provides the reddish color, which is the most common color we see. Gray is on top because of magnesium, and the white color is the most beautiful, is pure calcium carbonate, the rarest we see. And it's because there's no purities at all in the water. At some point, we're standing 40 meters higher than the actual cave entrance. Brilliance is the famous column because it's made from pure calcium carbonate and it's the most beautiful in the cave. We can certainly see why. The one and a half hour tour is one of the most beautiful natural formations that we have ever seen. 